Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hi there. Thank you guys for joining us once again. Before we get going, just want to uh, ask everybody, if you haven't subscribed or checked to see if you are still subscribed, please do. And if you do enjoy the content, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell. And then I got a quiz for you guys. Do you guys like quizzes? Do you like, do you like taking guesses at things or seeing if you could deduce things? Well, usually only if I know I'm going to be right. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, okay, so what I got up here, there's 13 individuals. 13 individuals. And I want you to figure out what they got in common. And one of them, I'm not going to show you until the very end. Uh, and then one, we'll show you again at the very end. So I'm going to show you 11 photos, right? Here we go. This is one two three and these are actually in a certain order as well four five six seven eight we're gonna skip over nine and we're gonna go to ten and then we're gonna go over to eleven or actually this is twelve it was skipping over twelve eleven too sorry about that and the last one. So, do you have any idea what these people have in common? Hmm. Well, if I add this in, now you might start getting an idea there. You might recognize that one. And then I wasn't able to find a definitive person of this person, who is the wife of a late Hong Kong property tycoon. So now you know where we're going with this. Yeah, we're talking about the global billionaires and their wealth and how it increased by $4 trillion during this era of time. Yes, and this is actually in order of percentage increase. So these are the people, this is the, the person right here whose wealth has increased the most during this epoch in time, this period in time, and then second most third most, fourth most, fifth most, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth. And boy, did their wealth increase. Four trillion dollar increase. Four trillion trillion dollar so there's 2,365 billionaires living on planet earth and they've seen their wealth increase by a collective four trillion dollars a 54 percent increase in the span of a year that is a heck of a return on investment is it not mm. that's that's a pretty big return and these sound like really smart business people that know how to take advantage of things yes yeah put put one way here another way the total wealth held by the billionaires ballo ballooned to 12.39 trillion up from 8.04 trillion 270 billionaires were added to the billionaire list and when we look at who these people are here is Number one, uh, Zhang Shanshan, his wealth increased 3,300%. 3,300%. And he's from uh, China. And so, wow, wow. His wealth surge was a result of his companies going public in 2020, bottled water, and a biological pharmacy. Hmm. Interesting. Number two there, Tatiana uh, Bakalchuk, her wealth increased 1,200%, $12 billion gain, and she's from Russia. Followed, She founded the e-commerce apparel company Wildberries. Zhuo Hui from China is also increased 714%, a $15.9 billion gain. That's China's largest real estate brokerage company huge increase there. Bom Kim his wealth increased 670%, 6.7 billion dollar gain. 
That's huge as well. Founder of the e-commerce giant Coupang, the Amazon of South Korea. Dan Gilbert, wealth increased 642%, the owner of Quicken Loans. And boy, real estate is super hot as far as the industry. It will be crashing at some point, but it has been just crazy with people trying to get out of the cities. Chen Yi Zhao, uh, also of China, his wealth uh, increased 614%, $13.5 billion gain, video platform based in Beijing. Su Hua, also of China, co-founder of a video platform and live streaming app. And that's a 583% increase, $16.9 billion gain there. Ernest Garcia II, U.S. wealth increase, 566.7%, from $2.4 billion to $16 billion. Biggest shareholder of Carvana, online car sales and auto financing. Elon Musk, we all know about him. Brian Armstrong, 550% gain, $5.5 billion gain. Chief Executive Coinbase, largest cryptocurrency exchange in the country. Chantan Ching Fen from Hong Kong. Large real estate uh, was founded by her late husband. And the, the increase there is 540%, $8.1 billion gain. And Bobby Murphy, U.S. wealth increased 531% from $1.9 billion to $12 billion during this era. Co-founder of Snapchat. And Forrest Lee from Singapore, 500% increase, $9.5 billion gain. And uh, he is also the owner of an online gaming and e-commerce platform. So, you know, some people are thriving in these times. For most, uh, it's been a struggle. It really has. It's been like life changing for many of us. We've had to change the way we interact with our families, interact at work. Um, a, a lot of different things, but you know, it's funny that when you first started going over this list, if you look at number one, that, that good old 33 number pops up. I'm always looking for those, um, little signs there. Those little signs, those little codes. Yep. So in comparison, the 2019 GDP of Spain was 1.3 trillion. Wow. So, you know, the billionaires have gotten richer. The, you know, the assets of the world are getting consolidated in fewer and fewer hands. And more and more people are finding themselves struggling in this world. So is the system not completely broke? And is the system not seemingly getting worse? It, it certainly seems to, to me, and I think to the majority out there, um, that these are not the best of times for the masses. These are not times to be toasted in this sense as the inequality is just getting absolutely outrageous. I think if we go back and we look at eras of time, um, this this reminds me of a certain time frame in, in France, really, you know? And of course, what's coming as far as the obvious shortages of food, <clears throat> but I'm sure there'll be plenty of wine left for certain people to toast to their success. It does seem so. And, you know, during these times, we have to find ways to make our own lives rich, so to speak, and have everything that we want in our own way. You know, now is the time to take back personal freedoms, no matter what the cost. Yeah, the system is absolutely completely broke. And the system is, is weighted. Again, this feels like we're walking into a, a casino of sorts with the way things are set up around us. That, you know, maybe one person out of a billion is going to walk out and legitimately win but the bottom line is the house always wins oh the house makes darn sure they always win so i hope this is eye-opening for many of you guys out there and again the the way to get the way to beat the system is to get out of the system and and that's not easily done that is not easily done you know and we could share that that's the case because for us too as as we've had so many issues trying to trying to you know achieve our own self-sufficiency it, it's not easy guys it, it's not easy it's not for the faint-hearted and you know the powers that be know this and so they're banking that the vast majority of people and banking is a good word there 
um, we'll end up just going whatever is the easiest route available. And uh, probably most will go that route instead of doing things that it takes to become self-sufficient, perhaps, you know, starting a little homestead, banding together with some like-minded family, friends, you know, acquaintances, and and working together to get self-sufficient and out of the system. Right. You know, even just mentioning to your friends and neighbors about your belief system, just plant the seeds right now so when things do tumble and fall, you know, you'll have a place in their mind and in their heart to maybe start a small like-minded community right where you're at. Yes. So thank you guys for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. We definitely could not do it without your support. As always, be prepared as best you can and, you know, keep fighting the good fight for individual freedom in this world. God bless and namaste. God bless and namaste.